everybody, I'm Michael. Welcome to Pink Cam Nara. Today, we are going to take a look at this CO bootleg Kamen Rider belt. You know what time it is. It's bootleg time. A few videos... Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Deal, <laughs> love All right, sorry, guys. Let's do it again. <laughs> So a few videos back, we actually take a look at a uh, bootleg Kamerider ZO sword and gun. And then I found out that they also produce this bootleg Kamerider ZO belt. Wait, the table is very not stable. I spent $64 to buy this ZO uh, belt. The box art looks very, very similar to uh, the Jigen... I forgot the name already, like the Gigan Burado. The components inside are basically the same besides the belt itself. Because we already <laughs> saw this uh, awful ah. ZO figure. Ah. So first thing first, is ZO flipped? Can you see this? This is a picture of ZO, but it's flipped left and right. So it's the mirror ZO here. And once again, this is not Kamen Rider, this is Skamin Yongsi. Again, Kamen Rider Brave, not the XA one, but the, the bootleg. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So let's flip it around. Just like the last video, it's the same, just hero. Okay, whatever. And it said that the CO Rider Watch can, like there's light, and then when you put it in, you can 360, you know. Honestly, I don't even know what's the components of a CO belt, so I'm just gonna call it the, the, the belt thing. You know what I mean, right? Anyone knows about it? Like what's the official name of this part of the belt? For every bootleg video, you already know what time it is. It's time for me showing off the official one. So this is the official ZO belt. I like how it actually display different words, you know, according to the Rider Watch. So, you know, the chip is actually pretty advanced. So let's do a quick hand sheen. So I insert it here. Okay. And then I can just 360 this. Yeah, and it showed 2018. Damn, that is so cool, isn't it? Honestly, it's my first time playing with the official ZO Bell and I really love it. Like, the display is really good. But anyway, let's check out how good the bootleg ZO Bell will be. Yeah. All right. So let's look at what we have. So first thing first, once again, we have the awful ZO toy. Wow, this is like... Extra bad on this one. What? Guys, look how bad the, the headpiece is. There's something wrong at the mouth, like at the mouth part. And also, there's a lot of dust on this shit. Can you guys see this? I'm not quite sure. How is that even possible? It should be in the box, right? It should be sealed. Come on, Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Leo off camera. I'm gonna wipe it so you guys can see how, how dirty it is. Look at this. Can you see this or is it too bright? Can you see that? The, the, the dust? And then once again, we, we got this mysterious Ultraman orb looking uh, ZO card. And then here we go, the Rider Watch. So last time we took a look at the bootleg Rider Watch, right? I realized, not, not me, actually some of you guys actually let me know that the inside of the Rider Watch is um, flipped. So dark because it's literally just plastic. Like it's a very low quality print. Okay, I put them side by side now you can see it clearly. Can you see the, the date? The date on the Z01 is 2018, right? The bootleg one is literally random, like, it's not even a number. If it's the same thing that I'm guessing, it will shine red and blue lights, just like uh, the police, so. Great. It's, it's the same shit. Letting you know that the, the cops is coming to arrest you for buying you like stuff. Yep. <laughs> Let us take a look at the bootleg ZO driver. Wow. Now this is very interesting because it's 2019. Can you see that? Is it 2019 or am I tripping? Okay, so they actually uh, went out and photoshopped the number 2019. It's a sticker of a plastic print. So this is not... A LED. Once again, for comparison, this is the official one. There's nothing here because it's a uh, LED display. And this is a sticker, 2019. The color of the bootleg one is actually a bit more white. 
This is actually the official one. It's a little more, more transparent gray. The official one, it's a bit transparent, like the plastic. And the bootleg one is just, once again, um, very solid. All right, so the moment of truth, let's try to uh, turn this on. And of course, you need a screwdriver for this. And this time I came prepared because I actually bought it. Oh, it came with battery inside already. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And I think the screw fell off. Can you see this? There's no screw at the supposed uh, screw socket. So, all right. So here we go. Is there an on-off switch on this? Here we go. Well, I'm just gonna do this and then can I rotate it? Whoa, okay! Okay! All right, we got it, we got it. Oh my God, it won't shut up. Shut up! The sound effect won't stop until I uh, eject this. I'm actually surprised that you can rotate it. Like, the button is real, okay. So you can actually do the, the Z, oh, the, wow! I'm surprised! Of course, it's not as smooth, but I'm already surprised, honestly. So, um, can I insert it on the other way? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, yeah, but the sound effect is the same. I'm guessing they uh, kind of stole the official Chinese dub of Camerana Zio and then just um, paste it in. Can I, can I insert the real Rider Watch uh, to the bootleg one? Uh, nope, I can't. Nope. Can I insert the bootleg one to the official toy? Can I do that? It's... Oh! Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what we got. And she... Oh shit! <laughs> no... <laughs> no rider! <laughs> so apparently, um, the bootleg one, it's so poorly made, it can't stick tight at the official one. And so when I rotate it, the whole freaking thing just uh, flew out. I want to see what kind of uh, rider watch it registered. So uh, this time I'm gonna rotate slowly. So eh? Oh wait, I get it. I get it. So as you can see, right? So this is the bootleg one. This is the official one. When I flip it around, the the pins are actually the same. So. Um, the official belt registered it as the, the ZO Rider Watch, but the thing is, since the bootleg Rider Watch um, doesn't contain any sound, like, <laughs> you can only do this, okay, as you guys can see, this is so pathetic. You can only do this, and there's no sound effect. The command like the ZO sound effect comes uh, from the Rider Watch, so it's just silent. Although, as you guys can see, the bootleg one doesn't really have a pin reader, it's just one single button here, so when I push it, the awful sound effect will play again, non-stop, <laughs> until I release it. So the sound effect itself is actually not that bad considering it's the official ZO uh, Chinese dub. But the problem is that the sound effect won't shut up. It's a miracle that they can actually make it spin. You know, I, I honestly think this is a big surprise. The worst part about the bootleg belt is seriously the non-stop sound effect. But hey, it's always good to have him, right? Always the best part. Once again, I have three of these. I don't know what am I gonna do with this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about this bootleg toy right here. Do you think it's actually not that bad? But hey, come on, seriously. No matter how not bad a bootleg toy is, it's the bootleg toy and it's not a good bootleg one. So there's really no point on buying this, seriously. Support the real thing and buy the official one and uh, try to stay away from, you know, bootleg toys like this, especially when it won't shut up. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. If you want to see more uh, bootleg camera stuff, please let me know in the comment section be below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.